Hey guys, it's me and Bill. I hope everyone is doing great. Yeah, I'm sitting with Sagat here. And the reason we're doing that is because I want to talk about a new release of a Street Fighter Udon graphic novel. Now, as you know, I'm a big fan of Udon comics. I've followed the comics since the first issue about 20 years ago, believe it or not. And I have not missed a chapter. I have not missed a release. And I think Udon did the impossible of taking the Street Fighter world and, and presented it in a coherent way. Amazing, easy to follow, and fantastic story that's been ongoing from, again, 20 years ago. It's now reaching a point where it's going to collide with the games with the Street Fighter 6 official comics coming out in the next few weeks, which I cannot wait to check out. But today I want to talk about Street Fighter Origins Saga. Now, before I get further into this review, a uh, quick reminder to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you are notified whenever I drop a new video. Now, I, I want to be clear, I'm not going to spoil the book. I'm going to talk about some things, but I, I, this is going to be as spoiler-free as possible, so don't expect... I'm not going to ruin the book for you, and the point here is to tell you whether it's good or not, and where, you know, if you should get it. So, Street Fighter Origins is, a, is the second um, release of the Origins Line. So first we had Street Fighter Origins Akuma a few years ago, which was which was really good. Uh, and now we have a second one, Street Fighter Origins Sagat. Now Street Fighter Origins Sagat is uh, is actually, um, art is by the amazing and, and super talented Joe NG. And the story is about, is by Chris uh, Saracini. And let me tell you, I was blown away at the quality of the writing. This is... I love Udon's comics, right? Udon's comics and the writing has been phenomenal for me. I, I loved it. They they did a really good job. But this is this is another level. This is this is a book that takes Sagat, one of the uh, you know most known characters from Street Fighter comics, from the Street Fighter games, and and they gave it so much depth that you really feel for the guy. You really understand his journey from being a good guy to a kind of an evil guy to you know. Uh, hitting his his you know laws after after being defeated by Ryu, which is they, they don't mention that here. But you see, you basically see his journey from when he was a young uh, you know uh, Muay Thai fighter up to when uh, you know to Street Fighter, uh, the first Street Fighter tournament. And again, the, the thing that really was compelling and it was it was mind blowing to me is how political this this book is. This is quite a political story. Uh, you know, like having this, the including the struggle of the Thai, Thai people, um, as well as giving Sagat uh, a reason to fight for his people, given giving Sagat a reason, we understand why he actually is the guy he is. Uh, whether it's you know, if we talk about his honor, or if we talk about how he became uh, evil and he followed uh, M Bison and and you know, becoming part of the Shadowloo Kings. But again, this story is written in such an amazing way that I cannot recommend it enough. This is easily the best Street Fighter Udon comic. And I don't say this lightly because I love all of them. I have read those books. I can't I can't even count how many times I've read them. Like all of them. I actually I just did a recent reread about a month ago or two months ago. So you know, I'm pretty current and, and, and familiar with what happened previously. And seeing this again, this is on another level. The art is amazing, but by Joe NG, which has, has given us some of the best Street Fighter comics in the past, you know, two decades. Uh, but here again, his is really you can you can tell you can see his mastery of, of drawing Sagat, of showing uh, you know the the struggle through through his art. You, know, you can you can feel for Sagat again. You can he has so much depth. I, I'm, I'm I've, I know I've said the word depth so many times, but I was uh, really amazed at, at how well. This book is written, and I really hope the writer is going to come back to write more Street Fighter stories because I love this kind of adding so much depth to a character. So through this book, again, as I said, we understand his Sagat struggle. We see his journey. We, as you know, if you read the Street Fighter uh, Legends, Chan Li, we see we see that Sagat was evil before uh, joining, uh, well, not before joining Shadow, but in the comics, unlike in the games, he joined Shadow before the Street Fighter term, before been defeated by Ryu before he had the chest scar. Unlike in the games, this did not happen until he lost to Ryu in the first Street Fighter uh, game. So, and recently, if you've been reading the comics, you see that Sadat is not a bad guy anymore. Uh, same thing as in, in the games. He's, he is back to being a good guy. So we kind of understand why he actually was working for Shadaloo around uh, Street Fighter Legends Chun-Li, which is when he defeated 
and killed Go Hibiki. So we kind of understand how he went there. We also understand how he shifted later on. We get to see his background, understanding his past. It makes it easy to see how he switched from being, uh, you know, Bison's right hand man to, again, becoming a good guy in, in the comics uh, as well and, and an honorable fighter once again. So it's a, it's a beautiful story again. We understand a lot of things. And I'm I'm also amazed at the number of, of Street Fighter characters that show up in this in this in this book, even though it's set in the past. So a lot of a lot of characters that that you do not expect to see, you're gonna see them here. Obviously, you're not gonna see uh, Ryu and Ken are not in there, but I mean, because I mean, you think of it again, Sagat was young at the time, so a lot of a lot of uh, characters that we haven't seen in the comics yet actually appeared in uh in this phase we see some really cool stuff from the first street fighter tournament which we didn't see before in the comics which is awesome so some characters from street fighter one do appear uh and again it just it just makes so much sense it's a beautiful written story it's actually shipping right now you might be able to find it at your local bookstore but it's shipping right now you can order it from amazon or also you can order it from directly from uh udon comics website again links are in the description below but if you are a street fighter fan if you are a sagat fan this is a book you do not want to miss. Even if you did not read the previous Street Fighter comics, you don't need to know much before. I mean, you could just jump in and make this your first Street Fighter comic. It absolutely is a phenomenal book. Again, it's out right now. Let me know in the comment section if you read the book and if you're excited. Let me know all that and more in the comment section. Again, don't forget to like and to subscribe. And until next time, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video from Neo Geo Now. Now don't forget to like and subscribe if you have not done so and I would like to take this opportunity and thank my patrons for supporting the channel and making this content possible. Making daily videos and especially the documentaries and lore episodes takes a very long time and a lot of effort and being able to get some support for these time consuming tasks allow me to keep going and strive for more and better content. With that said, I want to give a big special shout out to Michael, Brian Tiard, Fahad Aswedi, Jacques Paul, Beru Gadono, and Enrique Sandoval. As well as special thanks to Shaka Asamia, Refugio Robles, Felipe Guimara, Jihao Ju, Mohamed Al Blushi, Anthony Longino, Burned Retinas, Lily Wong Esmeralda, Goran, and Dangerman 1973. Those of you who are not yet Neo Geo Now Patrons, I hope you will check my Patreon page where you can become Patrons, helping the channel produce more videos as well as receive special perks that are exclusive to Patrons, like early access to videos, exclusive making offs, and other SNK digital goodies. Link for the Neo Geo Patreon page is in the description below. So until next time, thank you for watching.